Dude, that's late. That's late. Sorry, Lord, I kind of forget the bus, but they were just promising not to do it late. They love that. Okay, Angel was. Um, so the two topics that I want you to talk about is what you think is going well for you so far in your essay, and then the second part is what questions do you guys have? Go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to be continuing working on body paragraphs, so I just kind of want to do a little check in, see how we're doing. If you're like, you know, in the fetal position, like on the floor, like not knowing what to do, also tell me that. I need to know. So if you look at, again, the slides that I showed yesterday, there's two transitions, one in the middle of your quotes and one at the end of the paragraph. So you need a transition from your first example to your second example, and then you need one at the end that transitions from one story to the next. I'll kind of go over that just to remind everybody again. So. So I'm going to call on a couple of you. If you're not done writing, that's fine. Just tell me what you're going to write. Uh, Angel, go ahead and start us off. Okay, so, so far my essay, I think I'm pretty doing well. I can't speak with it. <laughs> that's okay. Um, I'm doing like pretty well on my body paragraphs. Like I got the transitions down and everything, and as well as my conclusions. I just need like one more body paragraph. Okay. Um, one question that I do have though is like, how exactly will we do the, uh, what's it called? The ending transition? Like, do we replace it with a conclusion or do we add on? So I wrote um, on the slide yesterday for the last body paragraph, it said the transition to the conclusion. So it's kind of like a concluding statement. So like what you could do is say something like, um, just like the rest of the characters that I've discussed today, um, whatever character you were talking about in that paragraph has undergone like a big transformation. So just trying to connect it back to all the other stories that you talked about. And then the conclusion will like wrap up everything from there. So that's how you would do the last one. Uh, Isaiah. Um, I say one thing that's been well for me is that we have all the little feminines and books that we have as you, so it makes, makes everything a lot easier. Okay. Uh, my question was a bit along the angels. Um, for the last uh, transition yeah. thing? Okay. Uh, Michaela. I have is how to go into more detail about each story that we're editing. Like, when you say more detail, more detail, like where, like, like the explanation? Or? similar, how do I say the same thing about being so repetitive? 
Well, I mean, I feel like every character has had some sort of different transformation, right? So, like, Ralph Parley, he changed by, like, becoming more vulnerable. Gregor's family changed by becoming, you could say that they became more independent, I guess, maybe, or, like, more self, like, uh, self-sufficient, exactly, thank you. Um, or Arroyo and Biafra, she became um, more connected with her people, or you could say that she became less selfish as it went on. Um, Harrison Bergeron. But that one, I know that one's tricky, but you could talk about, again, like either Society or Harrison Bergeron. But um, again, I feel like everybody's had different transformations, so you just need to focus on how that specific character changed. So like in the quote, like what about the quote you gave me? How does it show what they were like in the beginning? Why is that important to who they are? The second quote should be like, again, what does that quote show about them? But how, how are they different from where they were before? So I, I would say you probably are going to have more explanation in your second quote than you would your first quote, honestly. If you have two sentences for your first quote, you should probably have three sentences for your second quote because you're going to be talking more about how they changed. Anybody else want to ask a question before I move on that I, if I didn't call, if you just want to volunteer, if you have a question that you need me to answer? OK. I'm going to go ahead and play patchy notes real quick. It'll probably last all of three seconds, but that's fine. Um, Are you an aspiring writer who needs some help getting started? You're the library team for Nano Rhymo. What's that you have? Snack on all writing. During November, your goal is to write at least 50,000 words. Sign up through the library or through our Instagram to receive reminders, inspiration, and check ins from Miss Smith. Happy writing. These are your fashion notes from November 10, 2021. Have a marvelous day, Singer Oh, so that's going to be the new game that I'm trying to do different adjective each time? Or different. More different what? Different each. Yeah. Well, I think that's good that they mix in more people. And I feel like that they're actually like getting better as far as like having a little bit more of a presence, you know? They don't look half asleep as much as they used to. Like, yeah. Dead inside. Do you say dead inside? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just talk us all like well, again, I, my challenge is always, if you think you can do better, you should join, you know? Okay, so... I'm going to put on the like slides like on autoplay, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys this first. I also included this in the autoplay slide, so it'll be this plus this three slides talking about what you need to do for the topic, what you need to do for the middle transition, and for the end transition. So remember, four paragraphs, one story per paragraph. Topic sentence should be explaining, again, you're not telling me what the story is about. You're specifically telling me how the character, who the character is, how they transformed, and then the name of the story and author. So again, in Isabella Allende's End of Play, we see how Ralph Carley changed from a closed-off individual to a more vulnerable, open person because of the death of Bantu Sena. So again, I explained the conflict, I explained the, um, how they transformed, what they were like in the beginning, how they changed, and then that, the author's name and the title. You know, it's a lot to go in that one little sentence, but again, that's what you need to do for an effective topic sentence for this, for this essay. Notice I highlighted anything that's going to be new writing that you're adding to the evidence collection. Remember, I didn't tell you guys to introduce your quotes for the evidence collection, but you will need to do that in your paragraphs. You need to explain what's happening in the story, because you should never start off a quote with what? Yeah, you should never start it off with the quote. You should always start it with your words. The evidence should always start with your words. Your words are the most important ones, so make sure that you're explaining what's happening in that quote. Um, two to three sentences of explanation. Again, that should be just, you could straight copy that from your evidence collection. Middle transition, uh, connecting the first quote to the second quote. So again, while Rolf Carley was more closed off in the beginning, he began to like slowly open up as he spent more time with Zazu Sena before she died. 
Um, so that would be what your middle transition sentence should look like. Second quote, again, make sure you introduce it and cite it. You should have technically already cited it in your evidence collection. Paste your two to three sentences of explanation. And then the entrance transition is, again, connecting the story you were just talking about to the next story. So while Ralph Carlet, again, experienced more of a personal um, growth, other people, like uh, the family in Metamorphosis, um, might have experienced more of a um, more of a selfish transformation because they only transformed in their self-interest. They didn't transform like to get better or anything like that. So, but whatever it is, just make sure you connect those two stories because it doesn't have to be, you know, for Man of Clay. They don't have to be in any particular order too. Just because it's in the same one order on your guys' evidence collection, you don't have to necessarily qualify. You could go whatever order you want. So, yay. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, there it goes. Is that all for me or no? Uh, yes. Yeah. You just want to set it down there so you don't have to just stand there holding it. Okay. Okay. Alright, thank you. Hundred dollars worth of ink cartridges. Oh, I'm gonna set it over here so it's not blocking the microphone. Why do you have so many? Huh? Why do you have so many? Uh, each one is a different color. Oh. Because the way color printers work, um, they don't like have like ink for every color. It's like black plus three like main colors, and it blends to make all the different colors essentially. So you have a, a cyan. Black, magenta, and I think the other one's just yellow. I forgot if there's a special fancy name for it, but and that's they just all mix together. But yeah, we go through ink pretty quick for um, yearbook because we have to print out all the pictures and get them approved and stuff. So, anyways, that's why I got that. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing today, though, is just continuing to work on the final four body paragraphs. Um, I'll just tell you guys so it's not a surprise at the end, but bless you. Um, I decided to, again, I feel like I just keep pushing dates back, but I also feel like that some of us aren't exactly where we need to be. Um, some of it is, you know, self-inflicted. We're like maybe not working or staying as focused as we should be. Other is just, you know, people are trying to get caught up and just not everybody writes us the same speed, and I get that. Um, so what I decided to do is that I'm basically just making body paragraphs need to be done by the end of this week. Obviously, you have tomorrow off. Friday, we have short periods today. We didn't get a block day this week, so obviously we lost some time there. Um, so all four body paragraphs, uh, the evidence collection was still due last night, so I'm not changing that date. So, But if you turned it in today, obviously, you can still get a 98% if you only lose 2% per day um, it's for every day it's late. But, so if you haven't done that, please turn it in. There are still a few of you who haven't finished it, and you have to get that done in order to do the essay. So just make sure you do that. But the actual body paragraphs, the four body paragraphs, that'll be due on Friday. We'll work, continue working on it today and Friday. Monday, we'll do introductions and conclusions, and then um, we'll, we should self-time to revise and do our final draft that week. So. Sound good? Hopefully it makes it a little easier, a little less stressful by giving you guys that extra day to finish up these paragraphs. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but anyways, so any questions for me though about any of this? Like I said, this will be on auto loop, but so no like introduction paragraph and conclusion paragraphs? We're gonna do that Monday. Okay. Yeah, Monday. So again, we're doing we're I know we're going out of order, but the reason why we're going out of order is again because sometimes it's better to have the majority of your essay written first. And then do the introduction because that way you know exactly what you're going to be talking about. Because sometimes it's hard to start with introduction. This is what I'm going to be talking about. And then sometimes you change what you're talking about as the essay goes on. And then you have to go back and rewrite your introduction anyway. So that's why it's better just to start off with body paragraphs sometimes. This isn't, that's not the only way to write it, an essay, but I want you guys to try it this way. 
because next time it's going to be a little less guided and you're going to have to like figure out what works best for you. So, okay, I'll stop talking. You guys can start writing. So that was it. <laughs>